Forza Horizon 5 is a game where you can do anything you want. From off-roading with the fanciest of supercars, to doing a race across the entire map in the smallest car ever made. There's really no limit to what you can do, but certain events are made easier in this game depending on what cars you have. So today, we're gonna be diving into 10 essential cars every player should get in Forza Horizon 5. Kicking things off with number 10, and it's the International Scout 800A. Now, at first, this car may not exactly look like a whole lot. However, it is actually the best in class for A to D class off-roading due to its insanely good acceleration and incredibly high straight line speed. So if you have any off-roading events coming up, make sure you give this car a purchase. At number nine, we have the Jaguar XJR15. This is the best S1 class road racing car because it's the fastest in a straight line. And yeah, it may not be very good in the corners as it is a rear wheel drive specific car, but it's incredibly good acceleration makes up for that because anytime you lose in a bad corner, you can just speed up and retake. So in my opinion, if you don't have one of these cars in your garage, you're just missing out. Boys, before we go any further, we do have a quick 30 second sponsor for today's video. If you guys are looking for a safe, secure modded account, go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. And if you do decide to purchase anything, make sure you're using code RISEN for 5% off all your purchases. They do offer anywhere from coin packages to your existing Forza account. So if you don't wanna go ahead and start a new account because you already have progress on your existing one, that's okay. They can add as much as you would like to your existing account, depending on the package you buy. They have thousands of Trustpilot reviews. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. Com. At number eight, we have the Willys Jeep. I have put this car on many, many lists before because in my opinion, it is a jack of all traits. It's a very cool drag racing car, which is surprisingly quick. It's best in class for A-class rally, and it's incredibly good at point drifting. All of this and the car is under $50,000. There's just no reason not to have one. Now at number seven, we have the Rimac Concept 2. Yes, the electric one, but not for the reason you might be thinking. Now, yes, it's true. This is one of the fastest cars in the game and it's incredibly good for drag racing, but that's not actually why it's on the list today. The incredible acceleration that comes with this car being electric makes it really good for all short spaced or off road PR stunts. Anywhere where you can't get very much of a run up, this car is going to shine because it accelerates so quickly. So if you've never used this car in a PR stunt, go beat all your scores right now. I promise it will be easy. Now, in at number six, we have one of my favorite cars on the list, the Koenigsegg Gesco. And I'm not going to lie, it doesn't have very many reasons why it's on this list, but the one it does have is a pretty important reason. And that being, it's just the fastest car in the game. So any speed trap or speed zone that you want to improve your score on, make sure you use this car. And if you haven't already bought one, I'm shocked. You definitely need it. Now, in at a surprising number five, I bet nobody assumed this car was going to be on this list. We have the BMW Isetta. And now I want to give you a couple seconds to guess why this car might be on the list. No, it's not because it's fun for driving. No, it's not surprisingly great at some B-class event or something. It is one of the best point drifting cars in the game. It almost drives better sideways than it does in a straight line. I didn't realize this until I watched a video of a guy getting 1.5 million score on the Volcano Drift Zone in it, but I recommend every one of you go give it a try. Now in at number four, we have a car that perhaps none of you are gonna be able to go get if you don't already have. Because it is one of the top three rarest cars currently in the game, and yes, I am talking about the Sierra 700R. But it being rare is not why it's on this list. It is actually best in class from A through D in road racing and rally. The reason being, it's so small, and like the other Sierra cars, is pretty much a go-kart. 
Its cornering and acceleration is just insane. But unfortunately, like the other Sierra cars in a straight line, it doesn't exactly go the fastest. But if you have four or five hours on your hands, I recommend you go and get your hands on this car. In at number three, could you guess? It's the Pro Stock Camaro. And all I'm gonna say, you need this car if you plan on doing any drag racing. Number two, we have the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, but make sure it's the Forza Edition. I don't know what they put under the hood of the Forza Edition, but this car is used in so many of the world records or speed run best times for certain events all regarding road racing because it has the best acceleration, an insane top speed, and incredible handling. Now, yes, it is going to set you back about 10 million credits. So this might be something you have to work for over time, but I believe you can also get it out of a super wheel spin. Let me know down below if that's actually true. And finally, the final car on our list today, I bet you didn't guess it, but it's the Bone Shaker. Yup, the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. And that's because in S1 Rally, this thing just thrives. Sure, it's a little tough to control around the corners, with its steering that is, not with its grip. Its insanely wide tires give it infinite grip. It's like a glitch in the game. I don't really understand how it works. Not to mention, it's also a really good drag car, so give it both a try. But anyways, boys, that is our list today. If you agree with any of it, let me know down below, and if we hit 500 likes, I'll give you guys 10 more. As always, we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.